glad I didn't get him. In Alavista, pastor brutally attacked in his home, talks about what happened, hear his message, and why he didn't fight back. It's our top story tonight at 5 o'clock. Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. We begin at 5 with the Isla Vista pastor recovering from that brutal beating. The attack happened allegedly at the hands of a UCSB student. Father John Hedges is talking about what happened for the first time. News Channel 3's Elise Martinez has that story. Father John Hedges calls this his proof of life video. Well, I'm okay. Flowers and get well cards fill his Isla Vista home where he was brutally attacked less than a week ago. Hedges answered a cry for help, opening his front door early in the morning on May 7th. On the other side, UCSB student Paul Guzman apparently high on hallucinogenic drugs. Hedges says Guzman started punching, targeting his left eye and left chest where his pacemaker sits. Really want to underscore that any time a random uh, bloody incident happens, that we really ought to find a way to find what the lesson is. Hedges held his ground but did not strike back after catching a glimpse of this picture in his entryway. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't hit him. The pastor is speaking out because he wants to bring about real change to the culture of violence and drugs in Isla Vista. A little more aggressive uh, uh, educational process uh, around, you know, what is it that's out there right now and what are the consequences of it. Uh, I have suddenly become kind of a poster boy of what the consequences might be. He spoke at Guzman's last court date saying he believes in second chances but wants Guzman to pay the consequences. What, what I am targeting in this moment is that there is a journey to restoration. Hedges says the attack has solidified his resolve to take action in his community. No, I'm not ready to move out. It ain't done. There's work to do. Stand by, Elise. Cue Elise. Hedges is not out of the woods yet. He still has some medical issues that he needs to deal with. Now, as for Guzman, he's still in jail on $500,000 bail. Live in Isla Vista, Elise Martinez, News Channel 3.